Welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Zach <laughs> from Merrimel. I'm, I'm Uncomfortable Silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm Mike, the singer of Merrimel. Alright, and this is your interview part two. Part of a dose. Alright, so you were talking about the scene. Go back to what you were saying. You oh, the scene, yeah. the scene in Kentucky. Yeah. 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 Dude, when we played, there was kids jumping up trying to rip the, like, the fucking lights off the ceiling. Lights hanging and shit. It was we're so cool, man. Down, and and the other bands we played with were cool, were cool as hell. It must be neat to meet, meet different people on tour. Oh, yeah, or, absolutely. Yeah, all the local bands from the different places. Yeah, like uh, one kid that actually went to the show, like, let us crash at his place, man. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. We all partied and shit. Yeah, yeah. Crash was ordered, some, ordered some za. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Spinelli's, dude. Spinelli's oh, yeah. is an awesome pizza place in Louisville. If you're a touring band, you go there and give them uh, like a, some merch, and they give you yeah, a free and pie show. and a round of beers. Yeah. Oh yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. What if I just go there and give them some magazines and say like, you say, dude, dude, they probably try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were really cool that. there. Yeah. And and they're like Philly based. So yeah, I think if you say you're Philly. from like South Jersey, oh, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, you know what I mean. Philly's got a good scene. How did that like uh, connection come about? Like you just walked in there and like, hey, I got some shirts. We actually, we heard about this it. dude that uh, was helping us find the show there because it was like so last minute. Like we booked it the day before, and it was like, cool, we're playing Kentucky tomorrow. Like you know, fuck <laughs> whatever. How far a drive is that? Uh, well, we were we were on our on our way. We yeah, were in from, Tennessee. Yeah, so Murfreesboro. We're, so that's like dead center Tennessee. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know where that is. And then we were we were on our way to Ohio after that, so it was just real convenient. We had that Friday off, then we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you get in that for free if you're in a band too. Yeah. So if you ever go on tour, check out the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Give How do you CDs prove that? Shit. To them. Uh, CDs, tour pass, tour flyers, flyers, stickers. And they let you in for free. The yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. and you're allowed to take pictures with no flash and no but no video cameras. They're like, what if I go in there and say I'm press? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that would work out. I, don't know. I, I was I was just hoping being in the band would get you. And I was yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, honestly, you probably could, could make it happen. Yeah, probably. dude. Because there's something free. So if, if you say you're on tour and you're involved with music, I yeah. think that that's the whole thing. Yeah, you guys yeah. find a lot of scams. You guys Jewish like I am for some reason. <laughs> you save a lot of money. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm Italian. I'm yeah. <laughs> they yeah, going back to that you, about CDs. You know, it was funny when I used to do the magazine. People sometimes send me CDs and they would just put it in an envelope and like with no protection, just open it up and it would just be like in pieces. No shit. Yeah. Come on, like use wow. your head. Put it in cardboard or bubble wrap. Or something. Yeah. Just don't stick it in an envelope. And mail something. Dude, we went through uh, this place called Disc Makers and it's it's right by. Us. Oh yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, heads up. Yeah. yeah. Talking. We used to get. Uh, is that where we used to get the jewel cases from? Right. Yeah, we we got uh, RCDs or uh, little like, cardboard envelopes, man. But they came out really nice. I'm I'm happy. With that oh envelope. yeah, absolutely. My favorite actually is the disc, how the disc came out. I was like, that's fucking badass. Yeah, they do a good job over there. They did. It's better than the, uh, our old stuff, you know. <laughs> we, we, we wore the band that was like, very old. Man, <laughs> four by five. It's got yeah. a start somewhere. Yeah, man, it just sucks because my handwriting was always the worst, but I was the only one doing it. <laughs> so, people were like, very old. I look at it like, if it's a demo, I understand. Yeah. Like, if it's, like, I'm in a, I'm in a side project band called Growl. It's a grindcore. Call what? Ground. Ground. Okay. And uh, All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's, it's like swallowing. Anyway, so. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, so we, we, do dude, we write songs that are like a minute long. And we just happened to record like two of them just for fun. And we played a handful of shows. So at their shows, we handed out these like demos. But uh, we at least like made it like a sheet, you know what I mean, that had like the title tracks and you know stuff like that but I don't know do you know what else is really effective like flyers like with a little you know a little picture of yourself oh, yeah. and a bio and you know you know what you, you gotta put on it the little scan boxes now because they yeah, it's a website cool. you can scan them on your phone oh that's cool so yeah. got this one. I forgot to put them on ours though man I got a friend I was like oh these look real nice I forgot the scan code fuck we yeah. did it for that one flyer thing things are so modern yeah. now yeah, yeah it is like when I was in the magazine, it was still like, you know, like my wife would tell you, like we used to, we used to get so much mail. I mean, we used to get like, I used to get like 50 packages a day. There were so many, I had like piles all over the house of like demos and yeah. zines from all over the world. It was like, it never stopped coming. You were like, yeah. you go away on vacation and there'd be like three or four buckets of shit. And you're like, how am I, I'm never going to catch up. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't forget, there's still some stuff that I never even looked at. Like it's still sealed. You still got shit away. Yeah. It's crazy. Now, uh. This is your chance now to reveal a secret that you've never told it before. Hmm. I'm gay. There's probably a secret. Right. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. kidding. 
<laughs> and he's not attracted to you. That's his thing. Yeah, that was one of why he's like been so close this whole time. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're talking about. I love that. Maybe I should get closer, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? He's more attractive than me, dude? Yeah, maybe. It's fine. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, alright, for the record. Okay. <laughs> so, do you have any secrets? Do you have any secrets? I'll Get it off your chest. Hmm. Maybe not a secret, maybe just something you want to get off your chest. Yeah. Zach's gay. <laughs> <laughs> alright, here's one. Here's one. I did jerk off a lot. In that the fucking truck truck truck. Truck. Bathroom. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Dude, it happens, man. <laughs> you get lonely on tour, dude. I There's know. There's nowhere else to go. Yo, when you're taking a half hour in Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. man, we know. We know. Right, I'm just, just half hour, you did that long. Nah, <laughs> I, nah I don't even know. If it was that, that was probably a shit. No answer. way, dude. We were like, everybody had the drugs. drinks, man. I was about to order a second round. I was like, dude, where the fuck's that cat, man? Nah. If it was me, I would have. you would have just thought I went in to go pay, because I'd be so quick. I'd just go in there and... Get it out and be out. Let out again. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing there, Ping? Never, never, never know. Yeah. I'm, dude, I'm just thankful you didn't do it in the van, you know? Like, Where, why is your secret, dude? You didn't really reveal one yet. That was, yeah, that was a good secret that you revealed. Yeah. They, they kept For the like, whole world to The say. entire dude. That, dude, that was entire a secret. Tour. That was a secret to all of them and to Jeff, man. I knew that. Dude, every touring van. He just said it to the entire world watching this. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Hey, yeah, man. Everybody touches himself. All right, it's stop trying to get out of it. I, dude, I, I honestly cannot think of anything. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll come back to that. Yeah, come back to that. Yeah. How often you think guys? How often you guys look at your poop? Anything. What's that? How often you guys look at your poop? <laughs> like after you take a shit, how often do you get up and take a look? A lot. Sure pretty pretty like much. I'm like, yeah. nice one, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm calling that dude. Except this one. nice. Dude, this one time. It's gonna be a little graphic here. It's fine. <laughs> but it came out, dude. I, I straight up looked down and said, shit, it looks like a dick and balls, dude. <laughs> like, it looked like two little round turns oh, and one long turn. And I was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little ashamed of myself right now. Yeah. My friend Harry, dude, I, I saw a single bullet theory. Damn, you know, damn dude, wait for him under the bus. <laughs> single bullet theory on right? the magazine, right? So you know who they are? Yeah. Okay. My the friend Brass Harry, Bruce. I grew up with, he uh, plays guitar for single bullet theory now. Bruce. They're awesome still, by the way. But anyway, it was one time I grew up with the kid back in the day. He used the, he took a shit in my friend's toilet and he, he could, it wouldn't flush and he had to come get us and like be like, dude, this shit is not flushing. It was.